Hello folks, we're back with more real training. We had a question from one of my subscribers named Mauricio and he wanted to know how do you do cabinets? So first, uh, just from the beginning, from a, a architectural template would be better. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna select the Imperial Architectural Template. We'll say okay. Now we'll go in here and basically what you want to do, the first thing is you want to just um, create some walls here, some architectural walls, just so we can have somewhere to put our cabinets once we figure out how to get them in here. And we'll just go with the shape just here. Okay, now and then we're going to our north elevation and we might want to adjust these. Uh, so I'll just do this. Let's create a 3D view here. Okay, and then we want to tile these by Ken and WT and ZA to zoom all. So let's grab these walls here. And we'll hit the tab key. Oh, sorry. Grab these walls and tab. And then we'll bring these guys down to the top constraint of level one. I don't know what happened there. Wait a second, top constraint. Oh, this should be zero should be level two, sorry. There we go. So now, how you will load cabinets here in Rivet 2023 is a little different because I thought this was a simple, I had to do some research. So basically what you do here, you will go into your insert panel here and here in 2023, they put everything on the cloud. So normally you would go here, I would go here and go, oh, nope. So here everything is in the cloud. So I would go select load, auto desk running from the cloud. And then this one to come, and I already defaulted mine back. So I'm gonna go back here and you'll open this window and you'll go to casework. <laughs> now here's all of your casework. So what I do, you can select all of these or whatever you need. Let's select what we'll probably need here. We'll get this guy, this, this, this one, this one. So we can select all of these. Yeah, these are good. Corner unit. And you want to go with the top upper cabinets as well. But this, you get the idea, and you want to load these guys. I uh, get this one too, and that, and that. And then we want to just go load. So I'm going to load all these into my model. And there, they're in. So now, the, okay thinking here wow see I brought in a lot of families that's why it's going through this but this is fine you can do them onesies and twosies but it's best to get them in your project that wasn't too bad so now I want to pull this project browser over and then I want to go here and want to go down to families here and if I go to casework, there are all the families that we just put into our model. So let's go with a base cabinet. And we'll just, it got the two sizes as well. We can just drag and drop this guy here. And then let's do another one here. Actually, let's draw elevation. There we go. We can see a little bit going on in that view. Uh, let's just go with a, let's see, what's this here, we'll open that up, we got a 48 inch, and we just take it and drag it and drop it here, so there's that. Now what here, we don't have this size, it's not matching up as you can see in our 3D view. 
So what happened here, uh, let's just select it. And we can go and make this a 42. Nope, that's not gonna work. So we got a little issue here with this cabinet. So let's just add a few more in here. I just wanna show you how this works. So let's do the, this guy here. Let's do the 48, drag and drop him here. So basically here are all our base cabinets. Uh, we can even drop a corner unit in here. We can like get this guy out of here. I don't know what's happening here with this guy. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Um, let me just select it. I'm gonna delete him. Let's go with a corner unit. So we've got our corner unit. thought I had one in here but anyway you get the idea here uh, huh, I need a corner unit. so if you don't have that you can always do this you can go insert and our corner unit was I thought I put it in here there it is we'll take this guy and load him in And we can move these. So move these over here about to there. And then I'm going to go grab that corner unit. It should be in here somewhere. There it is. This is 32. Okay. I don't know if that's going to work for us, what we want. Uh, sure, we'll work with that. Hit the space bar and put it right there. And then we'll just align these. So I think you get the message here. Um, pretty simple here. Um, I'm going to align here to here. Same with that one and that one. And then you want to do a few top cabinets here. Um, so let's just go upper cabinet, double door. Let's go here. Let's go with another. Let's go to 42 inch. And just drag it and place it right there. So that's how you do the cabinets in Rivet. I know it might be a little interesting, a little tricky, but hey, uh, thanks for watching my videos. I hope this helps out. And um, it can do a little elevation here. But yeah, that's how you do cabinets in Rivet. So they basically just load them in and you go from there. So hey, guy, uh, Mauricio, hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Thanks for watching videos. Thanks for subscribing. If you need any questions or further things, let me know. I'll be happy to help you if I know. <laughs> anyway, take care. Bye.